Alright guys, I got a new product to install here. It's the stubby antenna for the FJ. You can get these for lots of different cars. Now my FJ's antenna connection was a little weird. It kind of came out when I bought it. I'm not sure what's wrong with it. It seems like it wasn't put in right. I like the antennas long because uh, when I've been in parking garages and you can, uh, you know, if you hit something with the top of the antenna, you'll know if your car is going to hit, which is kind of cool. We're going to go ahead and try to install this. So I'm going to go down and zoom in here. And mine was a little stuck, like I said, so I'm going to use this pliers, see if I can get this off easy. Okay, now it's coming off. But I don't know if you could tell, it's kind of spinning off center. See how it's kind of going this way, then this way? So we're going to get this one off. Just takes a second, it's kind of got a lot of height here. A lot of unscrewing. And there we go. Put that on the ground, get our little stubby here, and see if this screws in really nice and easy. Really simple. Get it tight, but not overly tight. Don't break something. And there we go. Simple, easy install. And now, not going to hit anything with my antenna. So that's how it looks on the FJ. And I'm going to go ahead and test the music. I'm not going to put anything more in this video. I'm going to assume it works fine. I've heard good reviews. If it doesn't sound good, I'll add myself to the end of the video. But I think it'll sound great. I really, rarely use the radio anyways. I use Bluetooth mostly. But I'll go ahead and test it. I'm not going to play music on the uh, YouTube here. So, like I said, as long as it works, this will be the end of the video. So that's the stubby. Super easy to install. If you have any questions, let me know. See you all later. All right, guys, the stubby is junk. It's going to be sent back. Video's not over. So 103.5 is a standard station in Chicago. I'm not getting anything. Let's go to other ones. It's not great sounding. I'm on 103.5. I'm going to put the stock antenna back on, and we'll see if 103.5 works. Just wanted to show the bend and the stock antenna here. Probably from what I was talking about, going through a parking garage or something, someone probably hit it because it sticks out above. But I'm going to put it back in. The stubby is not good enough. Radio doesn't work well. So we're going to throw the stock one back on and maybe I'll try something else later. But let's throw the stock one back on and check 103.5 because that should work just fine in this area. Alright, I have the stock antenna back on. We're going to go back in the car. And as you see, 103.5, I don't know if you could see it in the car very well here. Turn up the volume. You want to listen on our free iHeartRadio app. Download it now. And there's no static. 103.5 is fine. So the stubby did not pick up the reception here very well at all. And that's a good station. The other station sounded bad too. So sorry stubby. You get a 0 out of 5. Got my stock antenna back on. Twisted it on. It's fine. It just had that little bend in it. Works fine. So I'll probably leave it. Um, as long as it holds in place just fine. I tightened it down a little more with the wrench. So it should be good. And uh, I kind of like it because it does tell me if I'm going to hit something before I hit it. So it's kind of nice to have that anyways. So stubby, 0 out of 5. See you all later.